It's a rainy day here and I should, I should do a series on the mushrooms that I find while I'm out looking for morels and I don't find morels. But anyway, I found a cool one. It's a cup fungus, which I've never found before. And very cool. It's like all these little, oh, I see the spores like puff off of this one. It's also called pig's, pig ears. But the name is Pizzazza phylogena. There's one that looks like it, but I'm pretty sure it's this one just because of the time of year. Um, the one that's similar is more like in the summer and the fall. But, and it's really fragile, which I can see like I break it off, it just crumbles off the sides. And I see the little spores start to fly. But the caps can get pretty big, like, like four inches across. But I'm gonna try to get one out of here. And the cups, oh, there's a worm flying, crawling out. And the cups are kind of like see-through if you get them in the sun. Very cool. But it's a common brown cap fungus, and there's no stem. It's just kind of, it almost looks like it's growing out of this wood here, but it's not. It's just growing out of the ground. But a very cool mushroom. Looks like it could hold water, those little cups. They also say it's edible, even though it doesn't really taste that good. And there's also ones that look similar to this that are not edible. So between those, for those two reasons, I certainly would not even be attempting to eat this. It doesn't even look that good to eat, but very cool as it's literally just falling apart here. But it's my first cup fungus. So that's kind of interesting. It is a really interesting growing pattern, just how they all kind of are connected, but separate, but all kind of grow together. There you can really see how there's no stem and it's just like a kind of yellowish tan on the bottom. I guess that's what a pig ear looks like. I wouldn't know.